Hello and welcome to another video. Today I'm going to show you how to write a Morse code converter in C. I am also doing this in Python, so if you want the link to the other video, it will be in the description as well as the code. So let's get started. First off, we are going to want to include ourselves the standard package. So we're going to put a hashtag down and then do include std.io.h lovely and also fills it for me VS Code and now we are going to create our main function because the main function is what gets called when you first write your code. We're going to create ourselves two arrays. We're going to create ourselves an array called message out or I suppose message in and this will be just because it's an easy thing to do we're going to say it's going, it can be limited to 100 characters. We're then going to need to create ourselves a array of all of our Morse code characters. I have gone ahead and done this already because it takes a while and it's not really that interesting to watch so that is there. We are then going to want to take a user input so we're going to do printf, open up some brackets and we're going to say what what is the message that you want to encode and then we can just do gets. And this is a lovely built-in thing, which will... Yes, it's lovely... Ah, I've got my semicolon on here. It's a lovely little thing, which will automatically grab our input from the terminal. We want to quickly test this. We can open up printf, speech marks, percent s. Close speech marks, and then we can just print message in. And of course, let's close that. So we've got onto a GCC, which is the name of my compiler. Morse.c. There we go. So I can say cat, and as you can see, that works. What I am going to do is I am going to put a speech mark in there and a backslash n to force it onto a new line. And I'm going to say we will convert. Actually, we can just delete that line just testing if it works. So our next thing will be cycling through our array to find the message. So we're going to do a for loop, so for, there you go, so for, so um, VS Code automatically fills this in with size T. But that's not really needed, and so it's not being friendly, we'll just use int. So for int is equal to zero, while int is less than, we will say, um, 100. We will then want to write our code in here. So what we're going to do here, we're first going to check if we've hit the end of our string, which is really easy to do, which is if message.in square brackets i is equally equal to open up ourself a, uh, I believe it's called columns, which is like the single speech marks. And then we want to do backslash O. And backslash O is a termination character and it will be at the end of every string. So if we find one of them, we will open ourselves some curly brackets and we are just going to break, which will end our program for us, which is lovely. Other than that, we want to do ourselves an else statement. And then we are going to want to check. And the thing we're going to want to check, if we want to check that it's actually a letter, because otherwise if they typed in an exclamation mark or a dollar sign, Morse code, our Morse code can't handle that. So we're going to go if, open up one set of curly brackets, and then open up a second set of curly brackets, which is message in square brackets i is greater than uh, 96, close one set of curly brackets, and message dot in is less than 123. And the reason we're doing this is because more uh, the range of letters or the alphabet starts at 97 goes to 122 so we're just making a range we're going to open up some curly brackets and we're going to create a new integer so int j is equal to message in square brackets i and then we want to say minus 97 the nice thing about c is you can just convert uh, you can just you you can do maths on a letter or the ASCII value behind it without having to convert it, unlike Python. And that's because C looks at everything as a number. 
And to make your life easier, we're just going to print, open up some brackets. We're going to then do speech marks, percent, or yeah, percent s, and then a space. We will then do a comma, and then we will want to use our Morse array, so Morse square brackets j. And we are going to put a semicolon on the end of that. So, and if it's not a letter, we are just going to go down and do an else statement. Else, open up ourselves some curly brackets, and let's just print the character. So, open up um, printf curly brackets, speak marks, sent c, and then we're going to do a space again. And we can just print our current position or our value. So that is fine. And then remember the semicolon. And um, why is that not working? Ah, I've got my comma. So we can now quickly compile this and we can give it a test. Most. Why has that broken? Oh, I forgot to run my program. Okay, so GCC, GCC our thing which will create ourselves an executable called a.exe and then if we type in SOS as you can see that prints or we could do SOS there is cake that prints and if we added ourselves some punctuation you can see the punctuation prints standard Morse code doesn't actually have punctuation so you might want to replace that with just printing a normal space which would make sense. Always remember the semicolons. Yeah, so if you wanted to just replace that to always print a space, no matter what it was, that would generally, that would make a lot of sense. But yeah, that is how to write Morse code in C. I hope you learned something. Maybe consider subscribing. And the Python video will be in the description with the code. So, see you in the next one. Bye.